So, Ash, would you say that atheism is a life view? I'm not sure how you really define a life view. Um, but I'm going to say, not necessarily. Uh, a, a life view, for me, seems to suggest something that dictates how you're going to live your life, um, what you think about certain things. Uh, it certainly can be, but I think uh, if we go back to the idea of, in, in a perfect world, atheists would think that atheism is the default response. So it's certainly not going to be a life view. It's going to be, oh yes, I'm an atheist, just like, oh yes, I'm left-handed, or I have blue eyes. Um, okay, a bit more serious than that, obviously, because it's a choice rather than genetics. Um, but there are... Yeah, hopefully. It would have to be pretty impressive evidence, but it's a god, I assume they can do it. Sorry, can you repeat that? It's not dogmatic. The atheism is not like believing in no other reason. Ideally. Believing in evidence. Bad evidence, basically. Yeah, ideally, well, in, in my perfect world, nothing would be dogmatic. Everything would be at least somewhat thought through. Uh, and I dare say, though, that there are some atheists who would manage to, to block off the part of their brain that can accept the evidence in front of them. Uh, just like there are, there are lecturers in the evolutionary biology building. Uh, I'm not an evolutionary biologist, I'm not going to go on about that. But there are lecturers who are uh, essentially young Earth creationists who will teach evolution because they can manage to shut off the bit between their brain that communicates between those two sides. And I don't doubt that there are atheists who, who could do the same thing if they were presented with evidence for for Jesus or Buddha or uh, whatever I'm seeing. Zeno. <laughs> no, the flying spaghetti monster is invisible. Good point. <laughs> so is the invisible pink unicorn. Yes. Well, that's what I was asking. Right. <laughs> so, what's and the teapot. Oh, don't tell me there's no um, teapot holding some, please. <laughs> yeah. What's your view on religious schools, especially at primary level? I personally don't like them. Um, Richard Dawkins goes on a lot about uh, indoctrinating children as being child abuse. Uh, I'm not sure whether I, I use quite as harsh a term as child abuse, but um, what is it? Is it age 10 or 12 before uh, people can actually think rationally? If the age is yeah. Um, I can't think rationally. <laughs> but we assume that you can. Just like we assume that children up until a certain age can't think rationally and will just accept what they're told. Um, I have no problem with religious ideas being taught as long as they're given a wide range. I don't like anybody in any kind of thing being told, this is the truth, this is the only truth. There might be other people who, have, who say that they have the truth, but they're all wrong. Uh, if a school wants to teach that this happened with God and Moses and Jesus uh, and or Muhammad after that, that's fine. If they're also going to say, well, there was this guy who meditated for a while, came up with stuff that we're calling Buddhism, there's people who don't believe any of this, there's people who think that uh, Tom Cruise is eventually going to rid himself of all his thesis and become some kind of superhuman. Um, I certainly don't agree. If there's going to be schools that teach one truth, one truth only, um, and I apologise for using the word truth there, but you know what I mean, I hope. Um, it, it's hard to stop that. I'm certainly opposed to any kind of government funding for that. Um, because the government has no place in telling people what they should think. What do you and you're just getting annoyed because I'm still standing up here instead of getting lunch with you. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we haven't yet touched, when you're saying you were pr about practical things to do to promote atheism or promote the group or whatever, mm -hmm. you haven't touched on this uh, worldwide phenomenon of signs on transport, particularly buses. And to that effect, the, uh, you know how in Tasmania they had the uh, advertising company had refused mm -hmm. the atheist ads, yeah. just yesterday they came in and uh, allowed... Yeah, that's, that's true and I didn't touch on that because... 
I don't think have one, one thing that, to say any atheist group can do in Adelaide is try and organise a similar thing on, on our buses. Certainly. Um, there's, there's all sorts of things that, that could be done. I didn't touch on them because I, I was trying to stick to generalities because we only have so much time. Yes. Um, but I assume you will be sticking around afterwards and uh, talking all sorts of ideas with people. Um, Nick, had your, you had your hand up. And no, why you I don't care. Okay. Anything else? Well, we need to get out of here. Okay. Back to you. Oh, I just want to, just quickly, thank you Ash, um, in response to um, what you were saying about you know, people believing in other things, you know, they're atheists, but, but you know, they're crazy, as Ash put it. Um, I think it comes down to what I was saying in, in my talk about the two different types of thinking um, within atheism, the rational and the social. Um, I think when you, when, Ed, both Ash and Elizabeth both spoke about um, strong and weak or agnostic atheists. Um, I like to think that the idea of rational and social is sort of a, a, a superposition over the top of that whole spectrum because a person is um, either has different elements of the social and rational thinking. Um, so um, you can be uh, you can be rational in the sense of thinking about God, or God, that you can be very social in your thinking about fairies at the bottom of the garden. Yeah. Uh, I think I understand what you mean. I just wanted to get that. So, can we thank Liz, Matt, and Ash one last time? For <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't give them anything for talking because it's again in the Constitution you can't receive anything. Did you actually read the Constitution? I've read some of it. I still want to put it read a bit about committee members getting on our area, that's all they need to know. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you all for coming. I hope you've either learned something or just managed to have your own ego stroked by knowing that other people agree with you. And come on down to the CA and continue the discussion over eats. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Oh, yeah.